Fortnite. We like 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 Fortnite. Yo, what is up, guys? I'm an elite Fortnite player, and I'm going to be sharing with you one of the rounds that I won, and how you can win your games too. So I have a question: Is this you? No? If it's not you, you've come to the right place. Because even if you aren't crazy skilled like the video I showed you, you can get a win easy peasy with this technique if you watch this video. So as you can see, this is my drop spot. And the reason why it's my drop spot is because usually it's not a hot drop, but today it was a hot drop for some reason. Um, the reason why I choose this place is because since there are so many chug splashes, there's about 200 shield worth of chug splashes at the top of the tower, as you can see. And since there's that uh, amount of chug splashes, you're guaranteed to get 100, 100 every single time you drop there. So since I, since I have visual sound effects enabled, I can see that other people are landing near me. So basically one thing I do to make sure that I don't get contested off drop is I just uh, kind of maneuver backwards in my glider and then see if I can still make the tower just to see if there are any people in my immediate vicinity. So basically at this point, I see someone else gliding on me and I know that he landed at the front of the house and I immediately know since he's not actually landing in one of the windows, which is much, much faster, he's not actually really skilled in this position. So I can kind of use that to my advantage, just judging on the way how he moves. So I grab the chest uh, because I know that he's far away from the door and I might be able to get some pick shots on him. So he's going to have to spend some extra time healing. However, I only get a shotgun and I just see what I can do from there. So basically after I use Snake's gear to be invisible, I kind of tie it back into my previous knowledge of meme box PVP where you get an ability where you can go invisible. So I kind of apply my previous knowledge in those creative maps to this game. Um, so as you can see, I see a window that he edited and he went into a room. So I use this opportunity to kind of use my movement to hurdle towards him because since this item is new, he's probably not going to see me coming. So basically, I loot up this place as quick as I can using my previous knowledge of this location. And this is why it's so important to find at least just one or two POIs or just areas on the map that you land consistently so you can know the ins and outs of the map so you can know exactly how to kill people and also how to loot up in time uh, before circle comes or before someone third parties you. So now as I previously mentioned I use my knowledge and ability uh, of landing at this POI consistently to understand that if someone landed on the yacht, they probably don't have good materials because there are no trees or rocks. So I use that to my advantage to get as many materials as I can before landing at that location. And I basically shoot out the camera because it makes a loud noise when I land on the boat. So I use those two things to make sure I get a silent landing and I'm able to catch my opponent off guard if there's one at the boat.
So for a split second on my visual sound effects, you could have seen those uh, footsteps moving around below deck. Um, I saw that for a split second and I instantly realized that there was probably someone below deck just waiting for me. Uh, how I know they were below deck is because this place has a vault. And if they were above, they probably would have started shooting at me if I was on the zip line. So instead of going through the hole I created, because they probably know I'm there, I decide to go uh, through a vent in the back because I have invisibility and it'll help me uh, investigate the boat easier without getting shot at. Even there, even though I'm pretty sure that the guy is downstairs because of the reasons I just explained, I just double check that he isn't upstairs and I keep height because if he's an aggressive player and he's looking for kills, he's gonna have to build up to me and I'll be able to shoot him down and get an easy kill. So I just wait on top because there is no rush. And when my um, when I realize that my invisibility thing has recharged, I just decide to use it and then go downstairs just to explore. And I try to find this guy. So basically just two things you can learn from this kill. The first thing is do not use cluster clingers. They are not good. One cluster clinger point blank couldn't even kill me and that guy shot me after too. And the second thing is this is a perfect example of how you can get the drop on your opponent. You can see how he was turned until I opened the door. He realized um, too late that I was there, too late for him to build a wall. And as you can see, I kind of surprised him as he kind of cluster clingered himself. So just make sure that you can get the drop on your opponent, like how I did here. So just a pro tip, uh, unless you feel 100% confident, or I mean not 100, like let's say 90% confident, or you're in desperate need of something, do not go for high kills before 25 players. The reason being is because uh, kills are significantly worth less, especially before 25 players left. So the reason why I decided to third party this fight is because if I snagged both of these kills, I would have gotten much more percentage than I would if I third partied at the start of the game. It's just that now, since there are less people, kind of the risk um, does not outweigh the reward because my percentage to rank up will be impacted better. So basically this fight was just, I don't know why they didn't build. Uh, I have no idea, but I just gunned them down with my frenzy. Um, the frenzy shotgun is really good, especially for like diamond to elite lobbies because people aren't really doing peace control yet. So if you're elite or lower, I would highly, highly, highly recommend that you use this shotgun instead of the hammer. I'm going to say something crazy. 
sometimes the best thing you can do if you're good on mats good on heels good on everything sometimes the best thing you can do is just chill like do nothing just hide in a box until uh you need to move from zone pro players do this all the time you're basically just grinding placement points and since everything is worth much more late game this will be way more beneficial to your mark uh not your mark to your percentage to rank up pros do this all the time so basically as next zone comes in i just chill until i see where next circle is and then i mark in my map the highest point in the circle okay the highest point in the circle or the middle point of the circle the reason why these two are the best is because positioning is i would say like 60 percent of every fight especially in fortnite because if you're in a mountain and someone's trying to build up to you you have so many opportunities to spray them down so i would highly recommend before you go into your next circle and you have time just try to ping it on your map where the highest point or the middle point is in the zone highest point is the best because you can spray your enemies when they're trying to build up to you the middle point is also really good because you're um equally likely to get a good zone uh if it's in any corner of the zone so you'll be like perfectly ready and the reason why third party right here you can see is because if these people fight and the person I sniped gets killed, I basically just get free free assist points. Like I get ranked up for this. Now, basically after that snipe, I run to the gas station and then I just use the vending machine at the ga gas station to heal up. And then I just camp until next zone. The reason I do this is because since the zone is so tight and people are just fighting, if I make any more noise, I know I'm going to get third party. So next thing I do is I just chill. Like I just vibe and then I just basically wait until the next circle, find a place to chill. And then afterwards, I just wait because I know if I begin fighting, I'm going to get third party. And everyone else in the server is also camping. If you can see, they're shooting, but the six is not going down. And this has been a few minutes. So just know that the highest ranking and the highest like kind of positioning players, they all play with the same type of mindset. That not every fight has to be a super sweaty uh, win, 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 win. Just change your mindset and you'll be able to win so many more games. People frown upon camping, but... It's not camping when you have kills when you need kills and you camp when you don't need to fight. So yeah, right here you can see as I am building up, I see the super high point in the map and look how much vision I have. I can just like I can snipe, I can spray anyone trying to get in. I, I start targeting this player and I'm giving him pressure. So he's going to have to waste mats getting into zone. And if I'm in the top two with him or top three, he's going to have not many mats left to fight me So basically now as I am in the top two because the other guy died trying to fight me, I basically realized that since the other guy I'm fighting has height, it would be in my best interest just to build a roof over myself and get into zone as quickly as possible. The reason being is because the guy on top of me he's probably gonna shoot me and get so much pick damage with me just trying to build up so the thing is i just try to head into zone as quick as possible so i can set up just a one by one and try to catch him while he's in zone because the tick is so high but instead actually what happens is he jumps down into my level and you can see what happens
so basically one huge mistake this guy made was spending either two things he ran out of mats or he just stopped building but the point is he got down on my level and he just completely got rid of his advantage height is such an advantage in fortnite as 60 percent of all fights are positioning so him coming down from his height just got rid of 60 percent of his advantage and gave me the dub As you can see, this dub got me to high diamond 3, but next game, I basically just ranked up all the way to elite, so this game was basically just the game that led me to elite. Uh, this is the end of the video. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Bye-bye.